Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on the divine and why she is so important to us and how we can use her in our lives whenever we need her. So a lot of people don't understand that there are actually two versions of God. There is God and then there is Goddess. There is the divine and a lot of people know her as the Holy Spirit. But when you look at the Bible and you look at religion, then a lot of people teach the Holy Spirit as a masculine, which is actually false. The masculine is just God the Creator. And it used to be in the Bible as the Holy Spirit being the feminine. But a lot of versions of the Bible have taken that out and have actually made the Holy Spirit as a masculine figure for whatever reason. You know, a lot of things have been distorted in our culture. So that is what has been shown to many people and has been shown to me and has actually been um, revealed and the veils are being lifted all around the world. So that's actually a good thing to now know. And a lot of esoteric texts and knowledge and wisdom is showing that also. So if you do your research, you will find it as well. So the divine mother, the divine, however you want to call her is actually the feeling of unconditional love that will start pouring into your body as you start inviting her in, as you start meditating, as you start having your awakening, your kundalini awakening, any of these types of things, you will feel this absolute love, this rush flooding into your body. And it is the most intense feeling that you have never felt from any mortal. And she is here to assist us in our everyday life. I call on her all the time, actually. So when I used to pray to God, not a lot in my life actually shifted, but the Divine Mother actually helps me a lot. And I see things shift every single day in my life. So she will help you in any time. You just have to know how to ask. And I just want to say this, each one of us have masculine and feminine energy within us. And if we ever deny one of these energies, if we're ever afraid of one of these energies and we push it away, then we're pushing away the masculine or the feminine within us. Not only that, say we're pushing away the feminine, we're pushing away the mother. And then we're pushing away the feminine in us, then we're pushing away the Holy Spirit. We're pushing away the goddess, which is the female version of God. So if you wanna look at the opposite of it, then we're pushing away the male in us, we're pushing away the father, we're pushing away God the creator. So there's so many layers to it, there's so many aspects to it, however you wanna say it. And then, um, you know, this is how it plays out in our bodies. This is how it plays out in our everyday lives. And it can cause issues. It can cause issues within health. It can cause issues within our relationships, um, within our parents, um, generations. I mean, everything. So that's why we really have to heal this within ourselves and within our own energies and really balance this out because we don't want to be projecting this out onto others and also just be having these issues within our own selves because, you know, um, you know, for instance, I'll use this. I was having an issue starting this business because I had this nugget of a business that I really wanted to do, but then I was just beating my head against the wall because I was like, well, I can do it this certain way. And I started with a path of how I was gonna do it, but it was more based in technology and I'm just not a technology person. I'm more of a creative. I've always been 
a creative type person and more of a airy fairy when it comes to um, kind of my head's in the cloud. Now I will bust butt and I'll go work, but I don't do technology and it takes me a while unless someone will sit down and teach me because I'm a visual learner. But when I have to learn by reading off the internet, I just can't do it. You know, it's very difficult and hard for me. So I was going on that road for a month and just having, it was like hamster wheel after hamster wheel, having issues trying to figure things out to finally where, you know, and I, I was asking source and I was meditating every day and I was asking for guidance and messages and messengers. And it's funny because they were sending me messages and messengers and I was journaling and I was having, I was writing notes on the things that they were sending me. But I didn't know until about a couple of weeks to almost a month now later because I was picking up on it. And I was like, well, let me try this and let me try that. And it's eventually what I ended up using and because finally yesterday, I just said no more. I'm done with this. I cannot keep fighting myself. So I burn my business to the ground and I tried a different route and I looked back on my notes and I was like, well, I'm gonna try this other website and I'm gonna try this other thing. And I'm not going to try this video thing and this other structure and this and that. You know, I'm just gonna let myself be the offering and the message and this and that. And I'm not going to chase, I'm going to attract. That's what I've done this whole entire time with my other business I had for 19 years. And that's how it always worked. I didn't do advertising, I didn't do this and I didn't do that and I didn't do social media. You know, I just let people come to me and I had a very successful business and that's how I always worked. And people would ask me, well, how much money do you make? How much this and that? And I, I never kept books. I never did this. I never did that because that was too much for me. I knew how I, now I did taxes and I knew how much I would make by that. And that's when I say I did very well because I wasn't an idiot. Like I kept, and I had, let me say this. I had a paper, people made fun of me because I had paper structure. I didn't have computers. And when people's stuff was crashing, my stuff didn't crash because I had paper books. So I just have to do stuff on my own way, but I'm not going to do stuff on other people's time or other people's way or anything because that's just how I have to do stuff. And it worked very well for me because I was very intuitive. I had divine guidance. And I had that, like, I was telepathic, and I still am. My clients, I could sit there and think about them. They would call me within minutes. Within minutes, I mean seconds, minutes, you know? They would text me for appointments. They, it was the weirdest thing. And, it just, and this is before I knew about any of this kind of stuff. It just always worked. So that's why I say now, when you're working with the divine, when you're when you know how to successfully use this, when you know how to flow, when you know how to receive, instead of go, 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 chase, 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 when it's a certain being and flowing and calling in, and uh, I mean, it doesn't mean be lazy. No, I'm not saying that, but there is a certain, type of energy and frequency that you put off when you finally just say, I trust and I have faith. Because in the beginning, when I was happy, when I knew my Dharma, when I knew my purpose, everything was flowing in the beginning also. And then when I started having that 
it was almost like a worry. It was almost because I was like, I'm out of my wheelhouse. I'm out of, you know, I don't know what I'm doing again. And I don't like that. I don't know what I'm doing. But it wasn't a fun, I don't know what I'm doing. It was a like nervous, I don't know what I'm doing. And life is not supposed to be hard like that. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be juicy. It's supposed to be pleasurable. And all the yumminess and the good things and the, you know, it's not supposed to be that damn hard. And when it got like that, I just had this feeling again, you know, it was like a, just a pit in my stomach. And it's not that I wanted to give up on the message. I just wanted to give up on that structure. And I knew I had to restructure it. And that's when I knew I had to call in the mother. And so what I did was not only call in the divine by falling back and by being and by receiving, I also called in my goddesses, my mother energy, my divine feminine, and then my dark feminine, and then had to send love to my mother, my mother archetype, my feminine guides who I know are amazing because I have Isis, I have Beset, I have Kuan Yin, I have Mother Mary, all these people who are just amazing. My grandmother is one of my guides. So my ancestors, I have sent love to. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for your struggles. Thank you for your gains, your abundance, your sensuality, everything. So I was sending so much love and thank you for helping me along this way and all that you are and all that you have been, all that you will be and sending me everything and continue to help me. And so not only did I flow yesterday, when I let go of everything I needed to let go of, I got more done yesterday than I did in the whole entire month. But then today, when things, I woke up this morning and things just weren't working out for like an hour. So I got in my kitchen and I was dancing, making breakfast because I was like, I'm not fooling with that again. So I wanted to have pleasure and fun. And when I did that and was sending all the love and doing everything that I just wanted to do and enjoy life again, I started having these downloads and that's when I decided, you know what, I'm not going to do a subscribe to this email because I've been trying to figure out, well, then how do I get the email link? Because that's what the holdup was. Like the email thing that I've been wanting to do has not been syncing with my website. And so I'm like, well, maybe I'm not meant to do that. So let me start a YouTube and go into that and let's see how that goes. So if people want to be led here, if people want to hear these messages, they can do that instead of subscribing to an email and me having to do an email send out or whatever, you know, so people can just hear it here, you know, <laughs> so we'll just see, we're just going to fly with it. So, I, you know, who cares? I just want to have fun. And I want people to have fun and I want people to know that evolution can be whatever you want it to be and structure, screw structure. <laughs> you know? I feel like we're in a new paradigm now where it's asking us to revamp, it's asking us to break down the walls and it's asking us to absolutely just say F it all and to revamp and look at where we are and do you really want that? Is that how you want it to be or do you want it just to like be fun and light and free, you know? Like rethink everything. 
because that is literally what the last six months of my life has been. You know, I've had to let go of everything, but by emptying my cup, I've let in so many beautiful things and it has been amazing. So I encourage everyone to just recalibrate, rethink, reimagine, because it's really quite beautiful. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.